Okay, welcome to my tutorial on converting a map created in Portal, the original one that is, to Portal 2. So, first thing I needed to do was locate the new map directory. So all I did was went to open, as, a, as if I was going to open one of the ones that came with it originally. Then just got this file path here and grabbed that, copied it, and then went into my file browser, we can now see the location of all the map files. There they are. So then I pasted the files in here from my old directory. So now I have all my map files I have on the uh, old version of Hammer here in the newer version for Portal 2. So we can easily upgrade our map. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the test map I created for testing the prefab created in my weighted storage queue tutorial. So all you have to do after importing your files is simply open file and you'll notice that it has upgraded the models to work with the new ones. Now, you'll notice here that only the roof has a texture. That's because all the other textures are using file names that no longer exist because of the upgrades in the textures used for the new portal part of why the new portal looks so much better. So we'll have to upgrade those textures, otherwise you'll get a really weird looking map. Anyone who's prone to seizures will want to avoid looking at the frames in this next clip I'm going to show, because the missing textures cause a very weird and kind of flashy texture to be displayed on the walls. I'll notify you when the clip is finished so you can just close your eyes or something. You'll want to do that now. So as you can see it's got a really weird texture on the walls. Um, but you'll notice everything works as you would expect it to. except portals, or except portals, everything works just like you'd think. Okay, so the part that I warned about is over now, and you can look again if you were looking away from the screen. The first thing we need to do is select the new textures for the various elements like the walls and the floor anything that's missing. This is a really simple map, so it's not going to be very complex to change all of those things, but normally it would be uh, a lot more complex because you'd probably have a lot more textures and a lot more walls to change. What I did was I control selected each wall like so while using the Z key to move around. Now I'm going to go ahead and find a texture that I want to use. So I enter in my search pattern and I can look through the various concrete walls or I can look through 
just the walling and that'll show me all the different types of wall panels there are everything including these other older looking wall panels the new textures that are completely new for this i'm gonna go ahead and select a new looking wall pattern so it'll look like it's brand new there we go as you can see it's the right size and everything and it matches up in the corners now i'm going to select the floor texture and we're going to go and select a floor texture so floor floor and apply it to the floor now you can see everything's properly textured again and we can go ahead and save and let's go ahead and run and in this case I've already got the game up in another window so we won't run the game after compiling and now that the compiles finished we will switch over we're going to select the map launch it again you'll notice this time it's properly textured in a big white room white walls and everything and everything works still Floor bug there. How do I watch out for those? Okay, and that's all for this tutorial. So, see you next time, and have fun with your Portal 2 maps.